Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to locally stream your PC games to your PS Vita using Moonlight application. You need to have a jailbroken PS Vita in order to get Moonlight working. So this is the GitHub page of Moonlight PS Vita version. Just scroll down and download the VPK file from here. Just transfer this file to your PS Vita and install it. Now in order to get the best experience you need to have a mid-range to high-end wireless router that has a good connection to your Vita. Usually for streaming, a 5 GHz band Wi-Fi channel is recommended. PS Vita does not support it. It's quite old now. It supports the old and outdated 2.4 GHz band Wi-Fi channel. Still the performance should be good as both my router and PC are in the same room in which I am recording the video. It is recommended that your PC should be connected to your router via an Ethernet connection. This is exactly what I have done. Now let me just show you my router. I have Airtel's broadband connection and they provided me this router. Nothing special about it, just a stock router. This is the name of it, Titanium 2122A. Moonlight will only work if your PC has an NVIDIA GPU. AMD GPUs are not supported. In order to start streaming from my PC, I'll be using GeForce Experience app. Here I've enabled the Wi-Fi connection of my PS Vita. Both my PS Vita and desktop PC are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. I have opened Vita shell. Let me just install the VPK file. There it is, Moonlight. Give the extended permissions, whatever they are asking. Done with the installation. Go back. There you go. Our app has been installed. Let's start it. Now, first, let me just show you the settings. Resolution has been set to 720p. PS Vita screen does not even have an HD display. It's actually lower than this resolution. So I'm absolutely fine with 720p resolution. FPS has been set to 60. Bitrate 10,000. You can actually change these values. There you go. Change graphical game settings for performance. Optional. I'll just disable this setting. Yeah, these settings are left as this. Now I'm going to enable display streaming FPS. PS Vita does not have the L2 and R2 buttons. It also does not register the pressing of the sticks that is L3 and R3 buttons. So I'll be using the touchscreen controls in order to simulate these buttons. Just select touchscreen special keys. We can assign any controls to these four zones top left I'll assign the pressing of the right stick here R3 button top right corner I'll assign the pressing of the left stick to it bottom left I'll assign the pressing of the left trigger button bottom right I'll assign right trigger to it there you go these keys have been assigned this is optional you can assign any other keys to them it's entirely up to you we are done with the settings so now i'll just search for my pc search devices press the cross key it's searching for it now i'll just move on to my pc need to enable one setting from geforce experience app i have opened the geforce experience app on my pc it's showing the games that are already installed on it just go to settings, click on shield, here just enable game stream option, there you go. If Moonlight does not detect any game for streaming that is already installed on your PC, you can manually add it from here, click on add and select the exe file that launches the game. Alright back to PS Vita, I'll search for my PC again, this time it should be detected, there you go, just needed to enable that setting. Just select it, press the cross key. This can take some time. Okay, so a pin has been generated. We need to enter this pin on our PC. I'll just enter the pin here. There you go guys. My PS Vita has been paired to my PC. I'll just open it, press the cross key. 
your PC's name should be shown here and there's the list of games I can start streaming I just noticed God of War 2018 is not shown in the list so let me just manually add the game through GeForce Experience app God of War is already installed on my PC this is the GeForce Experience app go to the shield tab here then click on add here and just find the exe that launches the game there's the shortcut that's it our game has been added I'll go back to PS Vita now just resume the connection there you go guys there's God of War you also have the option to just launch Steam you can literally stream any game I'll just run God of War alright so now we're in the menu let me just quickly show you the settings display settings name of my GPU RTX 2070 Super full HD resolution DLSS disabled FPS limit set to 60 stream is capped at 60 FPS graphics using the ultra preset my PC can handle it let's start the game all of my save states all right let's check out the input response let me explain the controls light attack by pressing the R1 key there you go it worked heavy attack by pressing the R2 button so I'll just tap on the top right corner of the screen it should work I beg your pardon need to tap on the bottom right corner of the screen yeah that worked heavy attack in order to sprint we need to press the L3 button so I'll just tap on the top right corner and then move need to press and hold it yeah Kratos is sprinting aim by pressing and holding on the bottom right corner of the screen not sure about this control let's play the game need to lock it in its position our controls are working very nicely game is definitely playable need to crouch we call the X It's really running very smoothly. Uh, I need to use that here. There you go. Jump across. Come at time. Okay, and I beg your pardon, I can lock onto my targets by pressing the R3 button and tap on the top right corner of the screen. There you go, it worked. All of our controls work. I'll pick up the help. 
site address this guy is still remaining last one so guys that's it with the tutorial i'll be honest the controls were very responsive game was definitely playable i'll end the video here i hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day